Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you create a document, you select a paper size, like 8.5 by 11 inches, for example. When you reach the end of a document's specified page size in Word, it creates an automatic page break. Sometimes these page breaks occur in undesirable places. For example, an automatic page break may leave one sentence on a second page orphaned from the rest of the paragraph. You cannot delete automatic page breaks in Word. Instead, you must insert a manual page break at a point in the page before the automatic page break. To insert a manual page break in Word, click into the document at the place where you want the page break to occur. This should, of course, be before the automatic page break. Then press the Ctrl plus Enter keys on your keyboard. Alternatively, click the Layout tab in the ribbon. Then click the Breaks button that appears in the Page Setup button group. Then choose the Page option from the Buttons drop-down menu. Note that while a page break is the most common type of document break, it is not the only type of document break. When you click the Breaks button, that appears within the Page Setup button group on the Layout tab of the ribbon, many other types of document breaks in Word also appear. You can also select these types of breaks if needed. Let's examine the other types of document breaks you can insert into Word documents and their uses. A section break creates a break between different sections of your document. After you insert a section break, you can then set the document layout independently for each section. For example, if using a next page section break, then each separate section could then change its page layout, like switching from a portrait page orientation to a landscape page orientation within a single document. There are four different types of section breaks you can insert. They are next page, continuous, odd page, and even page. A next page section break inserts a page break but also creates two separate document sections so each section can have its own unique layout. A continuous section break inserts a break but continues the next section on the same page. The odd page or even page section break also creates a section break and page break but then continues the next section on the next odd or even numbered page depending on which break you selected. This is helpful for inserting section breaks into documents meant for double-sided bound printing. If you view the non-printing characters in a document that contains a page break, you can see a manual page break is identified by the words page break in the center of a dashed line within the document. You can easily delete these manual page break characters just like any other character. To delete a manual page break character, enable the non-printing characters within your document. Then click into the line containing the page break character. Then press the delete key on your keyboard. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.